Hello everyone and welcome to this section of the course. In this section, we're going to be looking at how to access the deep web from your Android device. So let's get started. So you want to head over to the Google Play Store on your Android device and you want to search for the following application. You want to search for Orbot, all right, O-R-B-O-T, like so. And it's going to be the first one. As you can see, I've already installed mine. So it's going to be Orbot Proxy with Tor. Now this is created by the Tor project and it's absolutely free. So you can go ahead and just install it. And once that's installed, you want to now search for another application called Orfox. Okay, so Orfox is the Tor browser for Android. So you you want to you want to also make sure that you to make sure that you download that. It is also made by the Tor project, so it's official and it's absolutely free. So once you have that installed, we're good to go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open Orbot. All right, so once you've installed Orbot, excuse me, let me just get that up. So once you've installed Orbot, you just want to open it up. Okay, and that's the screen, as you can see, and you just want to hit start. Okay, and once you hit start, it's going to start connecting to the Tor proxies or the Tor relays. And just give it a few seconds. It shouldn't take very long. And as you can see, there we are. Once it's connected, the onion logo will turn into a nice green color. And if you swipe down your notification bar, It'll tell you that your upload and download speed right here. As you can see, we have, there's our speeds. Now in this application, you have the ability to change your identity uh, and you have your apps VPN mode. That means you're basically telling the applications that you're using a VPN. When it comes to bridges, don't worry about that. You really don't need to touch anything there. You can then change the location that you want your IP to originate from or you want your end node to originate from. In this case, we're just going to select Australia, for example. And once we can, we, we're done with it, with that, we can just close it up. And now if you want to access the deep web, all you have to do is hit browse. And once you hit browse, it's going to open the Orfox browser that we installed. Now I know you guys are seeing a blank screen and that is because this uh, Orfox browser does not allow screenshots or recording, but I will be placing a screenshot as to how uh, the screen will look telling you that the browser is configured for Tor. So let me just take a screenshot of my screen and I have taken a screenshot. Now, I know you guys are seeing a blank screen, but there is uh, another way of you accessing the deep web on your Android device and that is through another application. The Orfox version or method will work. It's just that I cannot take a screenshot or I cannot record the Orfox browser. That is a security feature implemented. So the other version, uh, the other application that will do the same for you is if I search for Onion in the Google Play Store, it's going to be the second one right here. And it's going to be called Fire.Onion, so Browser Plus Store. So make sure you install that. That's also free. So what you want to do is just hit open. And it's again, it's going to start connecting to the Tor network. And I'm just going to close Orbot now. As you can see, I'm just going to close that because we're using this one. And immediately, once we're in fire.onion, it's going to open up a onion link. And uh, hopefully you guys can see the screen right now. Uh, just let it open up uh, DuckDuckGo. That is the default search engine that is going to open up. So just give it a few seconds to load up. As you can see, there we are. We're getting something. If it takes too much time, that means it's trying to find a node to the deep web. So those are the two methods of running or how to access the deep web on your Android device. As I said, the first version with Orbot using the Tor project applications works perfectly. It's just that I cannot record the screen overlay for Orfox. This browser does not allow the Tor browser, this Orfox browser does not allow screen recording. So I had to show you the alternative method, which is by using this app called fire.onion, which has the browser and the Tor bundle package together. Now, these applications are all free and do not require root access, so you should be good. So that's basically it for this lecture, guys. I hope you found value in this lecture. If you did, please uh, let me know in the Q&A section. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know in the Q&A section, and I'll be seeing you in the next section.